Hello guys, welcome back to Comment and it's time for the last part in this tutorial series. I'm very sorry this is a week delayed, but let's go. So we start with actually finishing the script. So we at first in the portal script, we actually need to start the portal manager. And we do that with actually getting the portal manager. So first we need here to create the actual variable for it so a public portal manager portal manager and we are just going to put it right here portal manager dot portal object and just do the first portal that's the actual bool and after that other dot game object which is the object that is currently colliding with the portal itself. So we just save this, go towards portal manager, and there we are going towards start. And here we are going to say that, and it's just because the rich body script doesn't do that, we are just going to do it by ourselves. The cursor.lock state is going to be cursor lock mode.locked. Normally you don't do this within this script, but just because we're already working in the script, I will just put it right here. Normally you would put this uh, inside the UE manager or player manager or whatever. But this is just temporary, so we don't have that annoying thing that the cursor is just going off the screen forever and always. So, in the update function, we are going to do two if statements. The very first one is input.get key down. And we're going to have here a key code mouse zero and then it will set the portal it's going to be the first portal and we also have an if statement if this is the other mouse button and it will actually set the second portal so the reason we are doing cat key down i would just zoom in by the way uh, the reason we are doing cat key down is to make sure that you don't um, hold the button and it will just spam it everywhere you look at which is kind of annoying to play with so that's what we have cat key down so you have to press again if you want to put that in another support so the scripts are finished right now so we can just put them right within the scene so the scene is already a little bit different we got the standard rigid body fps controller which you can get from the standard assets Normally, I wouldn't say use this one because it kind of sucks, but um, because we don't, well, I am not going to planning on creating uh, a few episodes just by creating an rich body FPS controller. We're just going to keep it with this one. But if you're going to add this within your game, please create your own rich body FPS controller. So now we are going to change the layer towards a player layer which is right this one and we're going to change the children um, we're going to create a new empty so right click create empty and call this the portal manager or if you've got already an empty with all your managers you can just put it right there and just have here the portal manager also this scene is just very basic there are just all colliders on it and just so we can shoot in something um, now what we're going to do is go towards our assets and we're just going to create a new folder right click create folder and call it portal materials and we're just going to create two materials and the first one we're going to call it uh, portal one and we are actually going to change it towards mobile and that supports light map because we actually only need the texture and all the other things we really don't need it so we can just use the mobile because that's better for your performance if you want something else you can also do that that really doesn't matter that much um, we are also going to create another and we are going to call that one portal 2 
And this is by the way what portal 1 sees, so this material is going to be on the second portal. And we're also going to create the render texture. And we're going to call this one portal 1. And what it does is you can just have a camera and you can just put it right uh, that it will render towards this texture. I can use this as a texture like we use any texture. Because we're going to change the uh, proportions of the actual object, so the mirror is going to be a little bit different than just uh, a square. So we're going to change this to 1 to 8. Um, we are going to keep everything exactly the same. Um, you can change this if you want to have a little bit better or well, a little bit worse. Of course, you can change the pixel size if your performance is um, causing too much trouble with your performance, but I am not going to do this within this tutorial. Then the second portal, uh, same thing. Again, we're going to change the actual size. And now what we're going to do is create an empty. I'm very sorry for the weird cut, but after you created the empty game object, you are going to call it portal1. And for now, because it's just a prototype and we don't really got models and things like that, we're just going to keep it very, very simple. So what we're going to do, we are just going to add here the actual cube and we're just going to make it like it's a cube. So we're going to scale this up towards two and we're going to scale this, uh, this a little bit down, uh, something like this. And after that, we are just going to put here the actual box collider and we are just going to add those values right here. I uh, just moved a little bit more up. And after that, we also need to scale this a little bit down. Whoops, very sorry. So the box collider is around the same size as the actual object. Um, once you actually cut your model, you maybe you want to change this towards a uh, mesh collider, but it doesn't really matter that much. You are going to watch the trigger and you're just going to set this to true. After that, we are going to add a portal object. So a portal. And we're going to say that this is the first portal because it's portal one. And the hit tag is portal. And we're going to change this towards portal itself. And yes, we're going to change the children. So, and we're going to assign the portal manager. And after that, we already got like everything we want here, except for the actual camera. So we are going to add a camera. And now we need to see what is the front, because that's very important. So going towards local, and we see that this is the front, uh, front uh, direction so we are going to change the camera also towards to look towards that direction and we're going to say that we don't want to watch the actual portal itself um, you can actually do this but you need to um, make the position of the camera a little bit better but you can also do it like this and we're just going to add some variables change some variables we are going to change the field of view towards 90 and this well kind of looks like a camera and now we are going towards to uh, change the target texture towards portal 01 that was the one we just created and we also going to change of the cube we are going to assign portal 2 then we are going to duplicate it. We are going to say that this is the second portal. We are going to uncheck first portal. 
we want to move the little area a little bit further away. We are going to say that the camera is going to render towards portal 2. And we actually want to see portal 1. Alright, so now we should be able to work. So um, we need to work, go towards the portal manager. We need to add the first and second portal. So first portal, second portal. And actually we need to change the array mask that it will hit anything except for the player and the portal itself. Uh, I think I explained that in the last episode. Then the player camera, we need to change that one towards the main camera. So that one is one you are uh, actually playing by yourself. And now we will hit play and we'll just see if it will work. And the very first check is if it will actually just render at something. All right, so we could just going to check at least it will shoot. All right, and nothing happens when we jump on it. So we need to fix that. And also it looks like that uh, the rendering part isn't going too well. So we also need to change that one. All right, so first the rendering part. We are going to disable this one. And just say everything. So we can just test if it will work after that. And we can just check the materials. Oh, we forgot to assign towards the materials. That was the problem. So we can do it right now. Uh, also change this towards mobile. Unlit. And also it's right here. So it should be working right now. So if I rotate this one, you should see there a change. So now is the problem, of course, at the sides or also showing it. It's not a huge problem because this is a prototype, but you need to uh, check that when you are actually creating the model that you don't have them on all the sides. The second problem was that we couldn't jump inside it. And we're going to change it right now. Um, we do that with actually changing the reachability controller towards a new tag, and we're going to create that. We're going to add it. We're going to add here a portal. Also, for to actually make the resources a little bit better, you can just remove everything from here because the flares will actually um, also be alright due to your own camera because you are actually seeing it, and we don't need an audio listener and. We're certain we don't need any UE right on the camera itself. So now it uh, should be working. If we are assigning the tag. So we are just going to put right here the actual mirror and just see what happens. I'm very sorry for the weird cut again. There were some slight trouble. So to fix it, you actually need to go the first portal. So first we're going to fix this. Um, I've got to add a rigid body and you need to use uh, turn off crafty and it will just work. Um, also remove from the cube the box collider. It's a standard thing that's on there and we actually don't need it. Uh, the same with the second portal, just add a rigid body, a box collider, just make the right size and remove here the box collider from the cube. So here um, we've got here that it is the second portal and here the first portal, but there's a small mistake within the script, so we just need to fix that. Uh, and it's this line, line 70, where here it actually needs to be true. So if this first portal, um, the actual new portal needs to be second portal and that uh, was causing some small problems. So after this, we actually going to test it. 
So we hit play button and let's just see what will happen. So we just put here and here and it works. It works like it should be. Uh, let's just see it now with a cube with a rich body on it. So I already created this cube, just a very basic cube where you can just create it again. So 3D object, cube, change the tag towards portal. That's very important. All the other things doesn't really matter that much. What we are going to do right now is just to see if it works. We are actually going to put it right here. And then we're just going to move it up a little bit. And we are going to move the rich body controller towards the position that we can actually see it. Whoops. Uh, you guys don't need to do this, this is just a test. So you guys can just see it how it should be working. Um, and you can also uh, check if it actually works with you guys, if you want to. Um, here, we are just going to add a rigid body and just don't change actually anything. Maybe you want to change the mass, but that's not that important. So it is working, kind of. There's only one other problem and that's the pivot. So the pivot is the position where the object is and currently it is at the down center. We don't want that, we want that you come out from the middle. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to change center towards null on this box collider and we're just going to move this down with both of them. Also by one. And we need to move this up again a little bit. Um, something like this and the same right here. So we're just going to move this one, the actual box collider, towards dot 2. And we're just going to change this position. Just hold down control so we can just do it at once, uh, one unit. And that should be working. And then if we check it, we see it works and it looks just fine. So that was it for today. That was actually the whole tutorial series. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. That's really appreciated. And see you guys next time. Bye.